927 gram jade perch. We're going to scale, gill and gut it, and then fillet it. Now I'll just turn it over so you can see the spots on the other side of the fish. Different on each side. Some jade perch don't have any spots. Some have lots of spots, but they're always different. So we've just taken the scales off. So he's a little bit different in his appearance now with his scales And there we have the gut contents and the 588 gills. grams, gill and head off. And just so you can see that we're being honest, there's the spots. And they're like fingerprints, no two fish is the same. So this is the head, and the head's got a weight of 113 grams, and we've still got quite a lot of meat left on the head here in the fins, and then actually right back here at the base of the head. So possibly this could be used to make a stock or jade perch soup, a meagre soup. So here we have just the frame. So we've got 146 grams of frame done by a very bad so filleter. So here we have the fish that's been filleted. <clears throat> Just so we can keep us honest. The spots. And so you can see what a bad filleter we are. We almost missed a nice big chunk of flesh from one side. And with regard to the actual frame, there's still an awful lot of meat left behind, particularly up here. There's quite a lot of meat still in there, and a lot of meat left behind back in the quarter of the dunk. Right, I just want to demonstrate the fact that there's just one or two pin bones in the fillet. There are no bones at all along here, which normally occur in most fish, but just there, I can feel a bone. There's only one or two of them, and they're very small, but it's in there, trust me. That's the only one I can find, just the one bone. So if we were able to take that extra bit of flesh from around here, then there might have been two bones. And sometimes, sometimes they have three, sometimes they have none. What we're going to do demonstrate now is how you're going to find out if your freshwater fish fillet is cooked. Push the fork into the flesh at the thickest part. Now I noticed it was a bit hard to go in then, and if it doesn't go all the way through nice and soft and gently, it's not cooked in the middle. And as you can see, that's not cooked in the middle. Mmm, this is just... Mm. Beautiful. And um, you realise I've been eating this fish for years and years and years, and I'm actually 97 years old. That omega 3 is so good for you. Just beautiful. Awesome. Uh, very, mm. very fresh. Very good salt. Mmm. Bless you to eat. Crisp toe in. You don't have to do too much to it. A little bit of lemon and just on its own, just ticks all the boxes. <laughs> mm, that is great. Aussie produce at its best.